Hi guys and welcome to Unity tutorial of landscape using vegetation asset or skybox and the starter assets. Let me show you guys how this works. See that is my starter asset, the third person controller. All I just did was just add that straight onto the the vegetation assets and I also downloaded the the all sky free assets so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into unity development environment and we we'll put one of these together so let's do that now guys welcome back to unity and let's start by clicking on new project and right here I'm going to select the 3d core and let's give our project a name I'll just call it vegetation assets and save my projects click on create okay guys the development environment is ready so what I will ask you to do is go straight to your window click on window and then head straight for the package manager click on the package manager and what we are looking for is known as vegetation spawner if you have an account with uh, unity all you just need to do is to drop this down and select my asset for your own asset else you can always type in vegetation spawner right here since I have my own asset I'm going to click on that because I've already downloaded the vegetation spawner however for those of you who are new so all I will advise you to do is create an account and you can also go straight to the asset store let me show you the asset store right here that's the vegetation spawner you can always get that for free or you, you can decide to go for this target creation which is right here and that is it right here as well okay so if you have asset my asset all you then need to do is just click on add and that's all there is to it then you can always go straight into your package manager right inside your package manager just look for wherever you your vegetation spawner might be so mine might be down right down here I'm going to scroll right down and there we go that's the vegetation spawner I'm going to click on import if you haven't downloaded it click on download but I've already downloaded it so I'm going to click on import there we go then click on import again and that's all the rest of it and right there I now have my vegetation spawner that is it right there the other asset that I will advise you guys to get is the starter asset third person that is it right there click on import if you haven't downloaded it make sure you download click on import there we go and you have to click on import again there so click on import again okay and this dialog pops up telling you that the project is using the new input system so all you just need to do is to click on yes but when you, once you click on yes the system will have to restart itself so I'm going to click on yes and there we go the system is now restarting itself all right the system has restarted itself and right here that is my starter asset the last asset that we're going to need for this project is the All Sky Free. The All Sky Free is approximately 320.25 megabytes. Then click on Import. There we go. And we're going to have to click on Import again. And let's click on Import again to import all of the assets of the All Sky Free that will be used for the skybox okay the all sky free is now on the system so you can now close your package manager so those are the three assets all sky free starter asset and the vegetation spawner so click on this vegetation spawner itself that is the right there then click on this folder that says demo and inside the demo you will see this unity icon double click on that very icon in here you guys should be able to see a very small plant in there 
if you want to see the the vegetation itself you can always click on run and you should be able to see the vegetation all over the place let that come up then we take it there we go that is the vegetation is now coming up there we go all right i'm going to stop it now if you double click on the terrain you should be able to see the vegetation that is it right there okay right inside the terrain just zoom in so that you can see it i'm now going to drag this game just drag it and bring it down here okay now the next thing we want to do is let's go back to the project right inside the project i'm now going to go straight into the starter asset inside the starter asset you then need your third person and inside the third person folder click on the prefab right here we need the player amateur so i'm going to drag that and just dump it somewhere the player amateur is right there that is the player amateur if you double click on it you can see him right there if you want you can also just reposition it i'm going to make that let's go for maybe about 30 30 by let's go for 30 39 and here i'm going to enter minus 62 there double click on the player amateur there we go that's a player amateur right where i want it now before we do any other thing you see the game folder click on the game folder and where we have play focused drop it down and let's select maximize so that we can maximize the screen now that we have our player amateur in there the next thing that i want to do because i want the camera to follow the player amateur up around i'm going to click on the tools here so that i can get hold of the cinema machine you see where we have reset third person controller amateur click on that and there we go that's the camera following it okay so if we run it now this is what you guys will see it's coming up there we go that is your player there that is that is the amateur let him run okay looking good so all we then need to now do is just to change the skybox so let's click on escape and and that's now back to the project in here we have the all sky free that is the all sky free so take an easy way out let's come straight to windows click on the windows and let's select rendering select lighting and inside the lighting now you select environment inside the environment you see where we have skybox material click on that and now let's look for a suitable skybox it's coming up okay i'm going to settle for this so let's click on that there we go so and that is the one i've clicked on epic blue sunset so close that and if you run your program now you should be able to see the skybox and right there guys that is the skybox there look at that okay let the let the player amateur walk around and there we go look at it look at the skybox guys you see how beautiful that is and that's how you create your own game using the vegetation spawner in unity so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now